today. We welcome you. This is our Black History Achievement Award presented to Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Okay, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, guys, if you missed it, Miss Big Booty Fanny, she was back in church the other day. Yep, Sunday, she was back into the same church, and she had to make a plea. She had to talk to the congregation. Let's take a listen. Let me tell you something that I've learned very, very recently, because you may need this lesson as well. You know, people keep sending me scriptures, and I, and I appreciate those scriptures, but different people from all different walks of life keep sending me this one scripture, and I don't think I ever really heard it till to maybe two days ago. You, people send you stuff, you read them, they just kind of become things you recite, but you don't really think about what they say. The scripture they keep sending me is, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I need y'all to hear me though. They did not say the weapon, weapons will not form. And that's the part I didn't hear until recently. Just because they won't prosper, it doesn't mean that they won't form. Even if you feel like everything you are doing in your life is the right thing, and you're making mistakes all along the way, but you're trying, you should not think that those weapons will not form. The other lesson that I've learned in this three years is God ordains those weapons. He puts those weapons in your life to form against you. And if you really understand him, you become in your maturity to understand he does it for a reason and it's to grow you and it's to make you stronger and it is to prepare you. And so my only request from this family today is, this is a really hard job I'm trying to do. And I am an imperfect human being, but I can literally feel the people who loves me's prayers if just every now and again, you'll throw my name in a prayer, God hears his children. I would very much appreciate that. So I thank you for this honor today um, because it is an honor worth having when it comes from a group of people, such as the people that worship here. So thank you. <laughs> the audacity of this woman is outrageous. I mean, the balls that she carry under those skirts of hers it got to be brass. I mean, she's going to church and try to plead her case again. You already tried to plead your case in court under oath and you lied. But now you're in church and you want us to believe you with no accountability, right? No. You go on in church talking about weapons will form against you. No, Fanny. No weapons will form against you. You took the weapon and you shot yourself in the foot. You did that. You are the one that was having an affair with a married man. You did that. You are also the one that paid your lover in cash that you took from your campaign. You did that. You hired a man with zero RICO experience and paid him more than any other lawyers on the case. You did that. You went on all these exciting, exotic trips on taxpayer dollars. You did that. Nobody formed no weapon against you. You shot yourself in the foot. But you're going to 
the black church. I'm a strong black woman and the boogeyman is after me. Right? The same old line. The boogeyman did this to you. All this is your fault. All you had to do was, re was to recuse yourself. But your ego will let you do that. Because you're doing God's work. And you see, that's a trick you're trying to pull. You try to say you're on, God is on your side and anybody who's against you is against God, right? That's a trick you're trying to pull on us. Nobody going to fall for that. You know what I'm saying? You try to hide behind a church and say you're doing God's work. Yes, you did some mistakes here and there. No, you did big mistakes. And you're not a rookie at this. You're not a green lawyer. You are a seasoned district attorney. You should know better. You know better. And look the way you come to church compared yes. to how you came to court. Court, no. you're under oath. And this is the way you were acting, under oath. Now you're in church where there's no accountability. They just, you know, it's your friends and family. And you all meek. You all act talking nice to the folks. <laughs> you're a sociopath what yep you're a sociopath and free thinking black men are not falling for it these people at your church they might fall for it because they've been doing this forever free thinking black people are not falling for this anymore no ma'am no ma'am take somewhere else ski wee anyway that's my thought for the day if you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all you church folks, get off my lawn.